Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Fullboy here, and as I promised, um, I have a little bit plan too. The demo gameplay for you guys. Um, I don't do very well on these levels, so um, don't criticize me. Um, I did my best, and um, I just want to get something out there for you guys to watch. So um, <clears throat> I'm not really following my schedule. So um, and the Christmas, uh, the little. Little Big Planet Christmas will be uh, coming up after this video. And no matter of fact, I'm probably not going to even do it. Mainly because when you get to the end of it, it's not really not that much fun. So, uh, I guess this is the last Little Big Planet video for the week. And <coughs> as I said in the previous video, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. And uh, yeah, Little Big Planet is going to be so awesome in January. I can't wait. All my friends on PlayStation Network have been telling me, oh my god, it's so awesome and stuff. Yeah, it's really awesome. <sighs> just look at it, it's just so awesome. I'm sorry, uh, you know, the coloring isn't good, but uh, I do my best with the camera recording. So. But anyways, um, we're going to discuss Little Big Planet 2 since this is a Little Big Planet 2 demo. And so, um, really, it's really fun. Um, the, uh, really, the only thing you can really play is story mode, but, um, Hey, they gave us something to do. And, um, I feel bad for Xbox because they don't have this type of, uh, complications because, uh, Xbox sucks. <laughs> and it does because it's true. I don't, I, well, to me, it's just Xbox isn't my thing. That's all I'm going to say. Um, because PlayStation has more games. I like the variety. And uh, I like the crates and stuff. So, um, great, ha great job to Sony, hands down. And um, let's hope for something really awesome next year or a few years later. Little Big Planet 3. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I know Little Big Planet 2 is going to outbeat Little Big Planet 1. And um, we are going to say, oh, this is epic. Yep. It's definitely epic. And, um,. I love the creativity on um, Little Big Planet 2. It's really, really fun. So yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, the creativity is really awesome. <laughs> I love the creativity on Little Big Planet 2, and I hope that it just keeps going and going with the PlayStation games. Um, it's just really awesome. And I'm really surprised about how um, um, mini molecule. I forgot what you call them again. But the people who created Little Big Planet 2, um, new features such as the bounce pads, the grapple hook, the, man, there's a lot to do. I mean, really. And it's really an endless game. Uh, Little Big Planet 1 wasn't endless. It was more of a, uh, a different type of thing. It's really, all you could really have done to have fun was really play community levels. But Little Big Planet 2 is different from that. If you just play a little uh, community levels, it's going to be way funner than just that. So, um, that's what's going to really change on Little Big Planet 2. And you see right here, I'm using the grapple hook. Really nice. Um, I really love this. It was just, I, I, I was really, I couldn't even talk. I was like, wow, this is an awesome game. And I was like, and then I got a little confused here because I, I, I was like, uh, I don't know how to use the grapple hook. And I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? So I got a little confused, and yeah, you know, so I finally got it, but then I was like, uh, is that how you do it? And then I realized you have to grab, hold on to it in order to reach your destination. And I was like, oh, okay. And as I say, guys, I don't do good here, so um, no complaints, no bad comments, and yeah. Um... So any, if any of you have any opinions on Little Big Planet 2, you can always leave a comment below, and yeah, uh, it was going to be really awesome, really exciting, um, really the best game for 2011, and uh, I, I really hope it's just economical, I mean, I had nothing really to say because it was just so fun, and I was like, wow, this is an awesome game, I never knew that. They were capable of making something this sweet. Now I'm like, the story modes are just the beginning. 
Just wait till the community levels come out in the real game. Oh my gosh, that one is gonna be really fantastic. Um, and Little Big Planet, as I said in my few few other videos, um, in Little Big Planet one, I didn't really uh, make any uh, uh, levels in that game. I just made levels so I can get trophies and stuff. But I couldn't. I, I didn't. I didn't think I had the capability of doing it. But now, after seeing how Little Big Planet two is a great success at, at this moment, um, I think I'm capable. So. Um, I mean, everybody here, uh, if you got anybody who's watching this video or anybody who plays Little Big Planet, you know, you guys know, you need to be capable for anything oh that you, you guys can do. So, um, you guys just uh, say that, yeah. So, yeah, um, really fantastic game. Um, the graphics are really nice. Uh, and I love the music at the beginning. It's way better than the first one. I love boom, 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 yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty nice, um, but you guys will be able to hear it if you have a PlayStation 3 and you play the demo. Unfortunately, I can't let you guys hear it since um, I don't have an HD PVR. So um, this is as much as I can give you guys, and I hope you guys can bear with me. So the game is fantastic. The game it looks great. The game is just awesome and. Yeah, there's really nothing to say, and uh, PlayStation, uh, it looks like Xbox are a little, let's say, mad, because they'll be like, wow, Sony, why did they make such this this game? And this is what's going to express most children to play, to get a PlayStation 3 for Christmas or something, mainly because this game is awesome, and, especially, and Little Big Planet 2, don't forget, uh, well, I mean, don't forget Little Big Planet 1. At least for the moment, because uh, that's the only little clown we can play right now. But you know, it's just gonna be really awesome, and I am just gonna love it, this game. I'm gonna fall in love with the game. Um, <laughs> it's just awesome, and I hope that this can uh, keep up through the course of um, this game because. Um, it doesn't look like we'll be having a little bit of Planet 3 since the game is already awesome and the graphics are great. The gameplay is awesome. But you know, this is just the beginning. We're just playing people people we're just playing three story levels on this demo. So this is only the beginning. So you guys haven't seen anything yet. Um Little Big Planet 2, Little Big Planet 2, uh the game is actually gonna prove itself more than how the demo is. Cause to me the, the game is just going to be just awesome. It, it, there's really nothing you can really say about it because um, the game is really nice. That's all. You know? And as you see the new feature, the bounce pads, um, they are really nice, really uh, comfortable and easy to use because you just bounce on it and boom. And I love how they have these instructions on the screen to tell you basically what to do. So. Uh, for people who are confused on what to do, it gives them a little uh, opportunity to not express themselves, but more like um, it gives them the opportunity to actually know what's going on through the course of the game so uh, they don't get confused. And I had a few confusions in Little Big Planet 1, so this is going to help me because um, now the characters won't be talking to you saying you have to do this and this, and they still don't understand what to do. So yeah, um, I didn't do good in this level, and I actually figured out that down there, it actually it's actually like a prize box, and what it that it does is uh, every time you get a certain uh, amount of points, um, it rewards you, yeah, yeah, it rewards you with some prize bubbles and stuff. So um, yeah. And if you guys haven't seen the trophies for the game, I saw the trophies on uh, PlayStation Trophies that work and um, really impressed. But the thing about it is that there's um, this trophy called 24 Hours of Create Mode. Uh, first of all, I don't have time to send a video game for 24 hours, but I think there'll be a, a way to do that. Um, I think uh, what they want you to, they'll probably make you do is go to Create Mode and uh, go to your PlayStation and changes the time I guess and uh, when you change the time then after that you get the trophy change the time 24 hours later and you get the trophy I guess I guess that's how it's gonna be done 
because uh, I cannot sit there. Or maybe if I were to play in creative mode, I would fall asleep on my couch. Well, fall asleep on my couch and just keep moving my character the whole night, maybe, if I can even do that. Because, um, it's not, I'm not a nerd towards trophies because, um, it's kind of stupid to make uh, people just sit there the whole time just to play your creative mode and, uh, you know, people, most of the time people, they, their eyes can't, uh, you know, withstand so much light at a, such a long time, for a long time. And, yeah, it's kind of wrong to make us sit there for 24 hours just for a trophy, but, um, it's pretty funny how you use this little bunny here. And I actually fail with this bunny because, um, I was just, I, I don't know, I just failed. And, yeah. Heavy Clan 2 is awesome. It's great. Look at the soda cans. I mean, really. Look at the soda cans. Uh, it's, the game is so creative. I love how the company made it so creative and uh, efficient for players to play. Not only from ages, well, the smaller ages, but all the big ages, you know? Um, it has many things, and uh, as you guys know, it's a platformer, and it's going to be able to uh, take almost anything. You can play shooting games, you can play adventure games, you can play love games, you can play romance, you can play action, um, mystery, science fiction, I don't know. I'm just coming up with all these genres, and... Um, Trust me, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna get better and better altogether. Cause um, but I don't think there'll be any problems once the game is out. Uh, I don't think there'll be any patches or anything. So um, I think the game it's gonna be alright. You know, no problems, nothing. So um, the, this is the part where I failed and uh, I I I rage quit it I guess because um. I was just like I'll forget this, but I actually finished it on my second try after. Uh, uh, turning off the camera, so I actually did good on that part, and, um, you know, and when it comes to creativity on games like this, it's not all about what you're capable of doing, it's what you're capable, is not what you're capable of doing, it's, um, what you can do, and I mean, if, even if you make a, a short, <laughs> sucky level, you know, you did something, I mean, if it's something, if it's an empty blank level, okay, you didn't really do anything. But if it's a level that is actually uh, legit and good, or something that people people actually play, then you just made you just helped yourself out, you know. You just made something that people actually play. And uh, Little Big Planet One really showed me how how creative people are out there. And it's not only just Little Big Planet games, it's all types of different games that are capable of uh, this little creativity stuff. So, um, yeah, um, so we'll see how the future will come to us with a brand new set of games. And, yeah, this is going to be awesome, you know? And, yeah, I rage quitted here, just about rage quitted, um. You know, the, that's what the game's all about. And I'm really glad how Sony was able to get this idea of creativity and um, well-balanced things. Um, I'm really going to enjoy this game. Um, I'm going to sell, once I get all my Little Icon 1 trophies, I'm not, I decided really not to even uh, bother getting uh, the add-on content for it because uh, if I do, I'm just wasting my money. Most add-on content nowadays, you know, not my thing. So I think uh, what I'll do is um, I'll just leave the add-on content alone on Little Big Planet and just focus more on the uh, trophies of the game itself. So, because um, most of the add-ons is like Metal Gear Solid and uh, all this other crap. So I think I'm not going to buy any more add-on content for it. Because I only bought one which was like the Metal Gear Solid and I just got um, some other ones like community level stuff. But that's it. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, uh, there's actually other videos out there that are not recorded from the cameras, actually recorded from HDP drives, capture cards, whatever. So you guys can go out there and search for a little bit of 2 videos such as this.
hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video so I uh, hope you guys enjoy yourselves and go download this demo because it's awesome alright guys bye